Hey Superstar, it's Gavin here from Wake Up Fulfilled. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for goal getting empaths and light workers who want to manifest an inspired life. In this video, we're going to be talking about the LOA rules that you might be breaking. Okay, so you need to understand it's very important that you don't break these rules. Otherwise, there's going to be consequences to the actions you are taking. This is called karma. Okay, so make sure you comment below. I am a superstar, oh yes, in order to win my sleep shifting course, we select three winners a day and there'll be some winners on screen right now. So DM me on Instagram if you are a winner. So there are rules to the law of attraction and I want you to know that these rules are not stemming from just random ideas that I have collected myself. I've been able to channel the Blue Avians and they told me the rules to the law of attraction. In fact, they don't even call it the law of attraction. They call it the law of resonance. And they are the governors of the laws of the universe. Okay, so they must know exactly how to use the law of attraction in the right way. And so I want you to understand that there's implications to the actions that you are taking. There are many YouTubers and different spiritual speakers and stuff like this that will teach you certain things about the law of attraction, but yet they are not spiritual or they're not operating from spirituality or they don't just they just don't understand the rules. They don't understand how to use it. Now, I've always known and felt an intuition that there's specific rules to using the law of attraction. And maybe you felt like that, too. Maybe you felt like there's a little bit of an ickiness or there's something that's not quite right about what you're doing with the law of attraction. And so I want to talk about the three main rules that you need to follow in order to have good karma and not have any karmic consequences when it comes to the law of attraction. This way you can feel completely safe and you can be motivated and inspired and get excited about manifesting the things that you want in your life and also avoid any resistance that you might be having towards manifesting what you want. A lot of the time, people feel a little bit guilty around the thing that they are wanting to manifest. And so I'm going to show you my perspective on this and what I've learned from the Blue Avian. So number one is you want to love yourself into having the thing that you want to create. Okay, you need to love yourself into having it. Right? You want to operate from complete love. Or higher levels of love, higher levels of loving yourself. This could always also be worded as I am enough or I am worthy or I am deserving. When you love yourself into having that thing that you want, the universe is like, oh yes, you're operating from the 5D. Oh yes, right? The universe is like, yes, you're not operating from what you've learned from society. You're not operating from what you've learned from the 3D. A lot of people are teaching 3D concepts when it comes to the law of attraction. There are very few YouTubers who teach law of attraction operating from 5D energy, from love and abundance. They're not teaching you to love yourself into having the thing that you want. And so the Blue Avian's first rule, okay, this is their first rule, right, is to love yourself into having what you want. Now think about that. When you completely love yourself, you become deserving, you become worthy, you become empowered, and you resonate on a completely higher frequency. You're operating from the 5D. If you're operating from 5D and you're operating from harmony, you're operating from love, you're operating from a place of power, now when it comes to manifesting the thing that you want, you almost feel like you deserve it anyway. It just feels normal and natural. And that's why I created affirmations and normalizing and neutrality shifting. Because when you are neutral, when you feel like it's totally normal to have a phone, right? You, a lot of us feel like you know it's totally normal for us to have a phone. That's why we have a phone. A lot of us have phones. And be, because of the external environment, because everyone has a phone, it's normal to have a phone, so everyone has a phone. However, for some people, it's not normal to make a million dollars. It's not normal to make 100K a year, whatever it is, right? It's not normal to them, and so that's why it's harder to manifest. It's more scarce just like gold or diamonds are scarce, right? Now we are, it's like, it's one of those things that's hard to get, marriage, etc., etc. And so we need to understand that these things, everything that we want is in abundance. Everything that we want, need, and desire needs to become normal, it needs to become natural. And when we resonate on that frequency, again, the law of resonance is what the Blue Avians call it. When you resonate on that frequency, when it's totally normal to manifest that, now you are able to create in your life. Now, a lot of bit, people get confused about my neutrality shifting and normalizing. It's not that you don't, uh, so what I would say is, you know, 
if you're making something normal, it doesn't mean that you're not, you're not motivated towards having it, all right? You are still motivated. So what I would do is replace the word desire with passion, right? You're passionate, right? You're not eagerly like over it. You're passionate about this thing, all right? And it feels good to you already having it. So what a lot of people get confused is when it comes to neutrality shifting is that they feel like they, you know, they, they, you're not supposed to be motivated about getting or making something happen, right? You can still be motivated, but you do it in a way where you're passionate about it rather than desiring, okay? Desiring implies no action, right? Almost. And so we want to use the word passion and when we're passionate about something, Tony Robbins says, live life with passion. Guess what? We're able to manifest those things that we want, but it's from a place of abundance. It's from a place of self love and you're loving yourself into having the thing that you want. The second rule here to success with the law of resonance or the law of attraction is be happy with what you have 90%. <laughs> Crazy, right? I, I kind of didn't know this myself. I kind of did know, kind of didn't know because this goes back to the passion part, right? You want to be 90% happy with what you have because you want to leave 10% for passion, for drive, for motivation and making that thing happen. All right. So everything that you have in your life right now, the good, the bad, the ugly, the great, right? You want to be content with it. You want to find happiness in it. And at the same time, the, the rest, the 10% is this could be better. This could be greater, right? I can improve this. I could change this. I could shift this. If I could get this, if, if I could do that, right? then my life will be better. And then once you get there and you have that, well, there's gonna be another 10% for you to grow. The way this universe works is it wants you to grow with it. It wants you to, to expand. It wants you to ascend. And so the 10% is so that you can be in your growth mode, right? Being that, that, that state of expanding yourself into a greater version of yourself, right? It's not, you're not gonna go through life and be stagnant. You see, there's many teachers that will teach you law of attraction techniques that don't require you to grow, don't require you to expand. You know, they just tell you to do all this stuff, but it's not shaping you into a greater version of yourself. The universe wants you to be molded into a diamond, right? A diamond in the rough. In order, in order to make that happen, you need pressure. You need to grow, you need to expand. And when you expand, you feel a greater version of yourself, you're getting closer with your higher self, with a higher power. And so that's what it wants you to do. It's not just about manifesting. You know, when we just look at manifesting, manifesting, manifest, oh great, we're manifesting material things, oh great, I'm living an amazing life, oh great, right? <laughs> but what is it doing for the spiritual realm? Okay, and I'm gonna be talking about in my next video, why, um, why bother being spiritual? So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to get that video. Okay, why bother being spiritual? We're gonna be talking about that and diving into that. And so you want to be 90% happy with what you have. And you may have heard of gratitude lists and doing gratitude. Now there's been a scientific study where they measured how doing a to-do kind of gratitude, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. And then um, compared to being grateful for just one specific thing, and write an entire paragraph on it. So if you, it's your husband, if it's you know your kids, if it's you know that you have food or whatever it is, you write a description of that particular thing. It actually leads to way more feelings of that particular gratitude when you go into detail rather than saying I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this. And so you want to maybe every day or every other day when you feel like doing it, right? Start being grateful in more detail. Just write a par paragraph of what you're grateful for and it's scientifically proven to activate more of your gratitude emotions when you do it this way. So once you start activating this level of gratitude and appreciation for the current life that you have, and you start searching for meaning, you start searching for the things that are good in your life, you're going to step more into abundance. You're stepping more into your abundant state. And as you step more into your abundant state, you get to manifest more of what you want. And now that you're 90%, happy and content, right? The other 10% is gonna allow you to grow, right? And the other 10% is not desire, but it's passion about life. It's passion about growth. It's passion about expansion. And as an extension of that growth, as an extension of that, that expansion, 
now you're able to manifest more things. So the universe wants you to grow in that way. You see how that works? Okay, so rule number three is don't manipulate reality, manipulate yourself. Don't manipulate reality, manipulate yourself. Now, there are teachers out there that will teach you that it's okay to manipulate reality. I don't necessarily agree with this. And again, these teachings, these rules are coming straight from the, the beings that govern the laws of the universe. They said, don't manipulate reality, manipulate yourself. And so I want you to understand that there are beings out there functioning from the egocentric level of consciousness. And people who function from the ego level, uh, the egocentric level of consciousness are bound to manipulate reality. They want to manipulate reality to mold around their lives, you know, so they can feel good about themselves and boost their ego, etc., etc. There are many teachers out there who are so-called spiritual, right? But they're functioning from an egocentric level of consciousness. They don't even know it. And so we need to understand that certain people are projecting themselves as a spiritual guru, yet they don't understand the rules, right? The rules are don't manipulate reality. And so they will manipulate reality all they can to have the success, have the life that they want. It's all about them. It's all about me, me, me. You will never find them talking about how many people they can help, how many people they can serve. Right? My mission is to raise the vibration of the planet. I, I say it all the time. Right? My purpose, my mission is beyond ego-based, egocentric stuff. All right? And so what I would say, instead of manipulating reality, and what I'm saying is don't manipulate reality, manipulate yourself. So if we go back to rule number one, when you love yourself into having, guess what? You become more abundant naturally and you start attracting things naturally rather than forcing your way onto the world. You're operating from a place of power rather than from a place of force. There's a book called Power Versus Force. All right? and when you operate from your power, when you operate from abundance, you're attracting in a more natural way. And some people will say, well, Gavin, you know, I need, to, I need to make this happen. I need to, you know, I need to do this stuff. Well, there's karmic consequences to that. You might not experience it now, but you may experience it in a future lifetime. You may experience it in the future of this lifetime. I just know from my own experience that I've done things to manipulate reality in the past. When I first learned about the law of attraction and watched the movie The Secret, where they don't even share the rules, they just say, do this stuff, right? And I had a lot of karmic consequences for the things that I was doing. And so I stopped doing that. And I realized, wow, like, I don't actually agree with doing the law of attraction this way. And so I made the shift and I connected more of a higher power. And this is how I'm able to get these rules, these ideas and philosophies around reality and this world. It's because I'm connected with higher beings. And so when it comes to the law of attraction, manipulating reality to get what you want, again, you can do it, but know there's consequences to doing that. And are you willing to pay the cost for those particular consequences, right? So what do I mean by manipulating yourself? What I mean by manipulating yourself is, again, going back to 10%, is to grow, to grow. And that's the thing. You can grow so much into being a different person. You attract who you are being. You don't attract what you want, all right? Many teachers talk about this. I say it all the time. You don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. You attract who you are being. All right, so become a better being. That's it. It's, become a, it's much more fulfilling that way. Just become a better being. Become a better version of yourself. A being of love. A being of love and light. A being of the 5D. It feels so good when you operate from that space, when you're in complete abundance, right? So we want to manipulate ourselves into being that way. And what I would say, a better word than manipulating is healing, healing ourselves. Because the 3D has taught us these ways of being. They don't align with a higher power. I say, so we're unlearning, we're anti-virusing, we're reconditioning ourselves, we're unlearning the stuff that we've been taught about life, and now we're operating from love. When we operate from love, we can follow our purpose, we can make an abundance of money, we feel better within ourselves, we can have it all. Rather than following a scarce mindset that you need to compete 
and compare and attach and desire and hope and pray. I made a post recently around um, the free 13 things where the 13, the 13 symptoms of a limit in belief. And one of them was pray, praying and hoping and wishing. And you might be thinking, well, Gavin, if I'm praying, like, isn't it a good thing? Not necessarily. And it's, the reason why I say not necessarily is because if it's a conscious prayer where you're just praying for, you know, just praying in terms of praying for someone else or just praying because you want to pray rather than praying for something external. Again, you're, you're, you're externalizing your power. All right. So what you want to do is say, God, show me the way. Show me how to become a greater version of myself. So that I can manifest my reality, not give me this money, not give me this thing, not make this happen. Right. Instead, show me who I need to become. Give me the training, give me the tools, give me the ideas, give me the perspectives. That helps me align with my highest timeline. Which helps me align myself more with you. You see. Isn't that a better approach? All right. We want to operate from a place of power. And when we operate from a place of power, we feel good. And when we feel good, we manifest what we want. All right? It's all about feeling good. And so that's the space that we need to get into. Okay? So the three rules, again, is love yourself into having. Okay? Love yourself into having the thing that you want. Operate from a 5D. Be happy and content with what you already have, 90%. All right? The rest, 10%, is that area of growth, expansion, becoming a greater version of yourself. When you get there and you have the stuff and you've manifested the things, now there's another 10%, right? There's more expansion and more growth. There's always an evolution. There's always things that you can grow and expand on. Where I'm at right now, it's crazy, like, the things that are showing up for me that I didn't know that I would be growing into. I'm becoming more aware of certain things about myself and areas that where I can grow. But it takes you healing certain levels of yourself, growing in certain parts of your life to get to these other areas of your life. You see how that works? And the last step here is don't manipulate reality, manipulate yourself or heal yourself, condition yourself, shift yourself into a higher vibrational frequency. And that's one of the things that the blue avians love is when you raise your vibrational frequency. Okay, when you raise your vibration, when you become a better version of yourself, they really love that and that's what they love to teach. All right, so I'm a Blue Avon star seed, and that's why uh, my brand's about wake up fulfilled and fulfillment and joy and happiness. If you're someone that's struggling to feel completely whole, completely expansive, complete abundance, just complete power within yourself about life and making stuff happen, then you might want to consider getting neutrality shifting coaching where we shift you into the reality that you want. We recently hired a coach called Guillermo, and he can shift you into the reality that you want by shifting yourself and becoming whole and complete and feeling that self-love, that abundance, and that expansion that you really want to feel so you can take massive action towards your goals, your dreams, and desires. The link will be in the description or you can go to neutralityshifting.com or there'll be a video on screen right now that you can click on to get started. Keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.